Hello, everybody. My name is Joy Amasa, and I'm a plant scientist at Kennedy Space Center. Today, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about growing plants in space. I got interested in this when I was 12 years old, and I had a teacher who was invited to Kennedy Space Center to learn about the work going on for space crop production. And I decided then that that's what I wanted to do. Why do we want to grow plants in space? I love this image of astronaut Mike Hopkins on the International Space Station showing off his Thanksgiving dinner. First of all, we want to grow crops for the food. While this Thanksgiving dinner is great and the food that they have on the space station is really good, if you store that food for long durations, the vitamins and the quality break down. So we want to use the plants to supplement this packaged diet to make sure that the astronauts get all the nutrients that they need and get enough variety in their diet. At the same time that we're growing plants for food, having something green and growing in that environment can provide psychological benefit, a piece of earth with them when they're living and working in space far away. Plants also can recycle the atmosphere and they generate oxygen through the process of photosynthesis as they take up the carbon dioxide that we're breathing out. They also can recycle the water, taking up water from their roots and giving off completely pure water in the form of water vapor out of their leaves. And that water vapor can be collected and reused. What might it look like to grow plants in space? In the future, we might grow plants something like this, where they would be in an entire plant growth module that could launch on a rocket and that could hook to other modules to form a habitat. This one is depicted on Mars, but it could just as easily be on the moon. Right now, we're doing testing on the International Space Station. The ISS is our orbiting laboratory, and we've had people living and working there for more than 20 years, conducting both basic biological and physical sciences and also testing future hardware for exploration. One of the things that we're testing on the International Space Station is a plant growth chamber called Veggie. And you can see it here in the Columbus module or European laboratory of the space station. Veggie is a very simple system with LED lights and fans and the ability to grow plants and add water. And you can see how this environment is very synthetic. So imagine if you're living there for long periods of time, how important it might be to have some plants or something green and growing in that environment. We've tested a variety of crops in Veggie mostly leafy green crops. And here you see astronaut Shane Kimbrough harvesting red romaine lettuce. He's actually using an approach called cut and come again, which is a repetitive harvesting technique where we can harvest more produce from the same plants. And this is one of the sustainability aspects of this system that we're looking at developing. We've tested a variety of crops, including red Russian kale, dragoon lettuce, wasabi mustard, which is a spicy mustard variety, extra dwarf pak choy, and amara mustard. And we've grown these in different combinations with amara mustard and extra dwarf pak choy just recently harvested on the International Space Station. Two of these crop varieties, the dragoon lettuce and the extra dwarf pak choy, were actually selected by middle school students and high school students participating in a program called Growing Beyond Earth. So if you're interested in that, look up Growing Beyond Earth to find out how your classroom might get involved. The important thing is engaging the astronauts and having lots of good nutrition for them, having them enjoy growing plants and even enjoy smelling plants. And now you have an opportunity to participate through NASA's Grow for Launch activities as part of Earth Day. Grow for Launch is a program that uh, allows you to conduct a scavenger hunt for space plants and then report when you've found them and unlock a greenhouse. And a variety of different plants are all around the NASA Earth Day websites. These are all different things that we've grown in space, so you can find them and find out more about space plants. 
Thank you for your attention.